Well, good morning, everyone. Um, as Alyssa mentioned, my name is Luke Hahn, and I am the Health Division Manager at the Hahn Financial Group. I have my master's in business administration, and I work with employers across the country on better understanding options that are available for your employer benefit strategies. It's my pleasure to be spending the next 10 to 12 minutes with you just to share some details on the advantages and benefits through the MMA Employer Health Plan. Please feel free to type in questions throughout the presentation or to ask questions at the end, uh, or we can always reach out one-on-one -on -one afterwards and, and have a private discussion. This plan option may very well be one of the more effective ways to influence the rising cost of healthcare for both yourself and your employees. But before we get into that information, I think it's important to know who we are. Who, who is the Han Financial Group? We are your collaborative partner with your association meaning that we ultimately work for you. We are registered under the Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, as a registered investments advisor, which means that we are by definition fiduciaries and we bring that fiduciary standard and service model to your health plan. We provide self-funded health plans with stop loss, retirement plans and wealth management services for entities across the country and across many different industries and business types. Our focus though, is that of fiduciary guidance and fee transparency, both of which are rarely heard of in the group healthcare world. Not only will our fee structures be transparent, but we'll help guide you in the right direction that's most beneficial for you and your business, even if that means it's a, a different option. Our service area does include anywhere in the United States and having this national footprint allows us to serve you and your employees, regardless of where your company is domiciled or where your employees might live. I would like to start some of the, uh, the fact-finding information here today with a recent publication by the Congressional Budget Office. The Congressional Budget Office compiled different studies and reports to generate this publication, which is titled, The Prices That Commercial Health Insurers and Medicare Pay for Hospital and Physician Services. I know that's a mouthful, <laughs> um, but I would like to touch on two different parts of that report. And then we'll get into some more specifics on the MMA group health plan. The findings of this publication start to demonstrate the lack of transparency with the traditional commercial insurer. For example, prices within the same zip code can vary upwards of 500% for the same procedure under a commercial insurer, but Medicare would pay very similarly to any location within that same zip code. Providers upcharge their bills so that commercial insurers can provide a larger discount. But how much of a discount are you really receiving if the base charge is already upcharged? Compare this to Medicare rates, which are established by an independent third party that takes into account actual cost of care, actual cost of living, and a small profit margin for the hospital and provider, and more. Medicare rates are established with complete transparency in cost, whereas commercial insurers' rates are negotiated, you know, kind of behind closed doors and behind trade secrets. We never really know what we're getting. The publication then goes on to discuss the average price for hospital services across the country. As of the time of the report, the average cost of outpatient services in America, you know, aggregated across the country, was 240% of the Medicare price, while Minnesota was actually trending above that amount at about 297%. So remember how Medicare includes a, that small profit margin for medical providers? So why are the medical providers and commercial insurers needing to upcharge about 200% above that? It just provides some good food for thought and if there might be more efficient programs available. The MMA Employer Health Plan does provide an option to help combat this issue, utilizing Medicare as a reference point for cost, which allows for higher discounts for employees, more efficient premium, going to any provider as a network and much more. I apologize for the typo on this page. Um, it should say um, Minnesota at 297% of Medicare instead of Nebraska, I apologize. Uh, if you'd like to look at uh, take a deeper look at this Congressional Budget Office findings, that website can be found in the lower left-hand corner of this page. Otherwise, I'd be happy to share that information with you as well. 
Now, let's take a deeper look at what's wrong with the current fully insured market and how we might be able to address some of those issues under the MMA employer health plan. According to a study done by Kaiser Family Foundation, between 2009 and 2019, that decade, deductibles have increased 162%, family premiums are up 54%, inflation is up 26%, but worker earnings have only increased by 20%. This means that you as an employer are having to foot the bill more and more for your employees, and you are bearing the majority of that increased cost. We must find ways to actively influence this rising cost of healthcare and actually create change. In order to understand how the MMA employer health plan may help you lower costs, it's also necessary to understand, well, what's wrong? What can we actually change? And could we be more obvious than to start with healthcare costs? Small group health plans are rated with a system called community rating. And while the system was created with the Affordable Care Act, the concept is simple. Your premiums are dictated by the average health of the community that you live in. A similar study done by Kaiser Family Foundation found that 20% of the population in America year over year accounts for 80% of all healthcare expenses. This means that there's an 80% chance that you're paying too much for your healthcare under this model. Further compounding this issue is that of fee transparency or really the lack thereof. Costs go up, yet you never really know how your premiums are being spent. You must be able to inspect that which you expect. Blind trust is not a good strategy. As mentioned previously, 80% of employers may be paying too much for their health care under the traditional commercial insurer. This is the opposite of free market capitalism. Uh, just like you wouldn't want to run your business on a subpar business model or use an outdated HR system, uh, we don't think your benefits should be on that model either. Which brings us to the issue of profit margins for insurance companies. After all that previous pain and problem, the insurance companies still try to make their legal profit margins. Now, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Every business needs a profit. But for the majority of groups, there may be a more efficient way to handle this that doesn't cause that losing proposition for employers and employees paying more. The solution may be the MMA employer health plan where we establish a self-funded health plan with stop loss employer by employer. This is a strategy already used by the largest companies in the United States, over 86% of them, and it truly can combat the previous problems. So what's the difference with a self-funded plan compared to a fully insured plan? One of the first differences is in how your premiums are used. In a traditional fully insured health plan, all premiums are paid to the insurance company. You don't have any control over how your premiums are spent, or even if your premiums are being spent on your program. In most years, not all the premium you send into the insurance company is spent. So what happens to those dollars in those years? Well, the insurance company keeps it as part of their profit margins. But shouldn't your premiums be helping your business? So the self-funded health plan with stop loss available through the MMA is different. As mentioned before, the plans are fee transparent, so you can start to track how your dollars are actually being spent on your plan. You will notice that your premium is now split between two different accounts. One account contains your fixed costs, the left bucket on your screen. Uh, this contains fees for uh, plan administration and most importantly, stop loss insurance, which provides unlimited dollars to pay for claims. The other claims, the claims account, the bucket on the right, these are dollars set aside specifically to help pay for claims throughout the year that are above patient responsibility. This is that bucket of money that is not spent in most plan years. And under this self-funded group health plan, if there's money left in that account, that is returned to the company. Now, in high claim years, the opposite of money being left, there's nothing to be retained. In those years, the plan will look and feel similar to your traditional commercial insurer, where your only financial risk were your monthly premiums, no more, no less. And this is because we always build in insurance, the stop loss coverage there in the, the left bucket on your screen. There's no surprise bills and no fluctuation on your established premium amounts throughout the year. This is a strategy that provides you with the, uh, plenty of advantages of self-funding, 
but provides you with the security to run your business as usual without that additional risk. Now, historically, self-funded health plans were, with stop loss were only available for the largest of employers. But through economies of scale, we can actually now write self-funded group health plans for as small as groups of two in 45 states, including Minnesota, and small as five in the rest. So what does this mean for you as a member of the association? It means that we likely have a strategy option. So what are the ultimate advantages of the self-funded group health plan? While there are many, it ultimately comes down to those original talking points. Lower cost, more employer control, and having to access to your claims account, which provides financial control. Lower costs are achieved through effective plan design. One of these examples is of how your premiums are calculated. Remember that under the current community rated model, 80% of groups may be paying too much for their health care. This program focuses on helping those 80% of groups achieve lower cost. Premiums are calculated using the average health of your group rather than that of communities. This enables you to have a plan unique for your organization while accurately representing where your group stands. And who benefits from these generally lower premiums? Well, you as an employer and of course your employees. There also tends to be a lower cost of administration when using a self-funded model because we piece together the appropriate services for administration, such as the third party administrator for the day-to-day -day and the stop loss provider for the insurance, while still being completely price transparent across the board. The, this effective design enables us to start to limit that carrier profit margin that was talked about earlier, lower risk charge, lower premium tax on a self-funded model and, and so on. We will be able to show you how your money is being sent to the insurance carrier, how much is being sent for administration, and also how much is being sent to your claims account. You'll be able to track month by month how your health plan is doing, and if there's any of that potential for the retention of dollars. We believe that there's a big difference between just having something done and having something done as well as it could or should be done. And we believe that self-funding through the Association Employer Health Plan can be that difference. While each employer is going to define how or what they want to control in different ways, we find that your health plan should ultimately mimic your business and that you can control the benefit design to appropriately recruit, retain, and reward your employees. To start, you're gonna have complete control over plan design and benefit structures. Now, we'll often start by mimicking your current program design, but then we can customize from there. That's just the easiest way to get an apples to apples comparison so you can determine if there's any savings, strategies, or advantages. Uh, if you're reviewing, it may include an option to include deductible credit so employees don't have to start over on their benefits if you transition coverage mid-year. The, the MMA employer health plan also includes many value added services such as healthcare blue book and MEMD. So as mentioned earlier, prices within the same zip code for certain services could vary upwards of 500%. Through Healthcare Blue Book, you can search for both cost and quality metrics to receive better and more efficient care. We also utilize program designs that allow your employees to have control of where they receive care by having all providers considered in network. But the ultimate control is financial control over your claims account. The employer will retain any unspent dollars in this account. And again, if there's no dollars left, you don't owe anything more. Your only financial risk were your monthly premiums, just like you'd be paying anywhere else. The MMA employer health plan becomes your business within your business. If you remember just one thing from today, just remember that you have options through your association, the MMA. Remember that you have a choice in the benefits you offer, and those benefits can actively influence the rising cost of healthcare. Not only can the MMA employer health plan help you gain more control, it may also benefit your employees through generally lower premiums and efficient plan design. You'll gain access to unspent claims dollars, helping create more financial control for your organization. Please don't hesitate to contact myself with the contact information on the screen or the association for a direct referral. The process for a quote is quite simple. We only need basic census information on your staff to get started. We'll create that apples to apples comparison and you'll start to understand uh, quite quick if there's any savings, strategies or advantages available. 
We believe that you owe it to yourself and to your employees to explore the health plan opportunity that the largest companies in America are already doing. Now, if there are any questions at this time, I'd be happy to answer them or work with you one-on-one -on -one privately. I'm not seeing any questions in the chat. I am not either. Um. Well, as just a reminder, our session was recorded today, so certainly feel free to reach out and I can send you the link. Um, other than that, I just want to thank everybody for joining today. Thank you, Luke. Um, and I hope everybody has a great day. Thank you very much for the opportunity to serve.